Okay, we're going to take a few minutes and talk about how to make a histogram. We've got our raw data right here. 2, 5, 48, 49, 55, 58, 59, 60, 62, 63, and 63. And I laid out the basic elements of my histogram already. Now, I would recommend that you stop the video um, and copy down that this axis right here is the frequency and these down here are the occurrence. Um, so pause it, stop it, and copy this. Okay, now that you're back with me, again, we have the frequency of numbers. You can see we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and down here we have 1 through 20, 21 through 40, 41 through 60, 61 through 80. Now, these down here are arbitrary numbers. It doesn't matter how you distribute these as long as they're equal. You can see that each one of my areas right here are 19 units. Now, when we plot this, all we have to do is figure out our numbers. So we have 2 and 5. That goes through the 1 through 20 right here. So we have two numbers right there. And I am going to go up there. I'm just going to shade it in like there. So when we check this out, and I've got two numbers, my frequency is 2, so I shade it in that overall area. Now the next one, 21 to 40, in our number set we don't have any of those, so we're just going to leave it blank. 41 through 60, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm, I got it over 5. So I'm going to shade that in right there. Now 61 through 80, we got 1, 2, 3. So right there. Boom. Shade that in. So now this histogram is a pictorial representation of the numbers in our data set. Uh, stop this video, rewind, replay as so many times as you need to get the concept.